Many people have heard of the goal of taking 10,000 steps a day for better health, but recent studies have shown that this may not be the most effective approach. Rather than focusing solely on the number of steps taken, experts suggest that individuals should aim for 30 minutes of moderate activity each day. This can include a variety of activities, such as brisk walking, cycling, or swimming. For years, the 10,000 steps goal has been touted as the gold standard for daily physical activity. However, recent research suggests that this number may be more arbitrary than scientifically based. One issue with the 10,000 steps goal is that it may not be attainable or realistic for everyone. Some individuals may have physical limitations or busy schedules that make it difficult to achieve this number. Additionally, focusing solely on step count may not provide a comprehensive picture of overall health and fitness. Instead of fixating on a specific number of steps, experts recommend focusing on incorporating more movement and physical activity throughout the day. This can include taking short breaks to stretch or walk, using stairs instead of elevators, or participating in active hobbies such as gardening or dancing. Physical activity is essential for maintaining good health. It helps keep the body in shape, improves mood, and reduces the risk of chronic diseases. However, the amount of physical activity required for optimal health is still a topic of debate. The current recommendation for physical activity is at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic activity per week. This can be achieved through various activities such as brisk walking, cycling, or swimming. In addition to aerobic activity, it is also recommended to engage in muscle strengthening activities at least two days per week. This can include exercises such as weightlifting or bodyweight exercises like push-ups and squats. While the idea of taking 10,000 steps a day has been popular for years, recent studies suggest that it may not be the most effective way to improve your health. Instead of focusing on quantity, Experts recommend prioritizing the intensity of your physical activity. According to the American Heart Association, 30 minutes of moderate exercise per day can have a significant impact on your health. This can include activities such as brisk walking, cycling, or swimming. By elevating your heart rate and breaking a sweat, you can improve your cardiovascular health and reduce your risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Incorporating high-intensity interval training Hyatt, into your routine can also be beneficial. Hyatt involves alternating between short bursts of intense exercise and periods of rest. This type of workout can help you burn more calories in less time and improve your overall fitness level. It's important to note that intensity should be tailored to your individual fitness level and health status. It's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before starting a new exercise program. In addition to focusing on step count, incorporating different types of exercise can also be beneficial for overall health and fitness. Resistance training such as weightlifting or bodyweight exercises can help build and maintain muscle mass, which is important for maintaining a healthy metabolism and reducing the risk of injury. Cardiovascular exercise, such as running or cycling, can improve heart health and endurance. Flexibility and mobility exercises, such as yoga or stretching, can improve range of motion and reduce the risk of injury. Incorporating a variety of exercises can also help prevent boredom and keep workouts interesting. It's important to note that the amount and type of exercise needed varies based on individual goals and health status. Consulting with a healthcare professional or certified personal trainer can help determine the best exercise plan for each individual. Maintaining a healthy diet is crucial for overall health and wellness. While physical activity is important, it is only one piece of the puzzle. A balanced diet that includes a variety of nutrient-dense foods can help prevent chronic diseases and improve overall well-being. Eating a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats can provide the body with the essential nutrients it needs to function properly. These foods are also typically lower in calories and higher in fiber, which can help with weight management and reduce the risk of heart disease, diabetes, and other chronic conditions. On the other hand, a diet high in processed foods, sugar, and saturated fats can have negative effects on health. These foods are typically high in calories and low in nutrients, which can contribute to weight gain and increase the risk of chronic diseases. 
It's important to note that everyone's dietary needs and preferences are different. Some people may require more or less of certain nutrients depending on their age, gender, activity level, and health status. Consulting with a registered dietitian or healthcare provider can help determine individualized dietary needs and provide guidance on how to achieve a healthy and balanced diet. Overall, incorporating a variety of nutrient-dense foods into one's diet is essential for maintaining good health. Along with regular physical activity, a healthy diet can help prevent chronic diseases and improve overall well-being. While tracking steps is a great way to measure physical activity, it is not the only metric to monitor progress towards better health. Here are some other metrics to consider. Active minutes. In addition to tracking steps, many fitness trackers also monitor active minutes. Active minutes refer to the amount of time spent doing moderate to vigorous physical activity. This includes any activity that gets the heart rate up and causes a person to break a sweat. The American Heart Association recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity per week. Heart rate is a useful metric to monitor during exercise. It can indicate how hard a person is working and help them determine if they are in the right heart rate zone for their fitness goals. Most fitness trackers now come equipped with heart rate monitors, making it easy to track this metric. Calories burned is another metric to consider when monitoring progress towards better health. It takes into account a person's weight, age, and activity level to estimate the number of calories burned throughout the day. While it is not a perfect metric, it can be a helpful tool for those looking to lose weight or maintain a healthy weight. Sleep is an often overlooked aspect of overall health. Getting enough sleep is essential for the body to repair and recover from physical activity. Many fitness trackers now come equipped with sleep tracking features, making it easy to monitor sleep patterns and ensure adequate rest. By monitoring these metrics in addition to steps, individuals can gain a more comprehensive view of their overall health and fitness. Remember, everyone's fitness journey is unique and progress should be measured on an individual basis. When it comes to setting fitness goals, it's important to remember that everyone's body is different and what works for one person may not work for another. Rather than focusing on a specific number of steps, individuals should aim for 30 minutes of moderate activity per day. This can include activities such as brisk walking, cycling, or swimming. It's also important to set realistic goals that are tailored to an individual's current fitness level and lifestyle. For example, someone who is just starting out on their fitness journey may want to start with a goal of 5,000 steps per day and gradually increase it over time. On the other hand, someone who is already active may want to set a higher goal, such as 8,000 or 10,000 steps per day. In addition to setting a step goal, individuals should also focus on reducing sedentary behavior. Sitting for long periods of time can have negative health effects, so it's important to take breaks and move around throughout the day. A good rule of thumb is to aim for no more than 30 minutes of continuous sitting at a time. To help stay motivated and track progress, Individuals may want to consider using a fitness tracker or app. These tools can provide valuable information such as step count, distance traveled, and calories burned. Some apps even offer personalized coaching and goal-setting features to help individuals stay on track. Overall, setting realistic and personalized goals is key to achieving long-term success with fitness. By focusing on moderate activity and reducing sedentary behavior, individuals can improve their overall health and well-being. While physical activity is important for overall health, rest and recovery are equally crucial. Rest and recovery allow the body to repair and rebuild muscle tissues that have been broken down during exercise. Here are some tips to help maximize rest and recovery. Get enough sleep. Sleep is essential for the body to recover from physical activity. During sleep, the body produces growth hormone, which helps repair and rebuild muscle tissues. Aim for at least seven to eight hours of sleep per night. Take rest days. Rest days are just as important as workout days. They allow the body to recover and reduce the risk of injury. It is recommended to take at least one or two rest days per week. Stretching and foam rolling can help improve flexibility, reduce muscle soreness, and increase blood flow to the muscles. Incorporating these activities into a daily routine can help improve overall recovery. Proper nutrition. Eating a balanced diet with adequate protein, carbohydrates, and healthy fats 
can help provide the body with the nutrients it needs to recover and rebuild muscle tissues. It is also important to stay hydrated by drinking enough water throughout the day. Remember, rest and recovery are just as important as physical activity. By incorporating these tips into a daily routine, individuals can help maximize their overall health and fitness goals. Staying motivated to maintain a healthy lifestyle can be challenging for many people. However, there are several strategies that can help individuals stay on track and achieve their long-term health goals. Set realistic goals. One of the most important things to do when trying to stay motivated for long-term health is to set realistic goals. Setting unrealistic goals can lead to frustration and disappointment, which can make it difficult to stay motivated. Instead, individuals should set goals that are achievable and realistic, such as walking for 30 minutes a day or eating one serving of vegetables with each meal. Find an accountability partner. Having an accountability partner can be a great way to stay motivated for long-term health. This can be a friend, family member, or even a personal trainer. By having someone to hold them accountable, individuals are more likely to stay on track and achieve their goals. Mix it up. Doing the same thing every day can get boring and lead to burnout. To stay motivated, individuals should mix up their workouts and try new activities. This can include taking a dance class, trying a new sport, or going for a hike. Celebrate small wins. Celebrating small wins along the way can be a great way to stay motivated for long-term health. This can include things like losing a few pounds, running a mile without stopping, or cooking a healthy meal at home. By celebrating these small wins, individuals can stay motivated and continue working towards their long-term health goals. Practice self-care. Finally, practicing self-care is essential for staying motivated for long-term health. This can include getting enough sleep, eating a healthy diet, and taking time to relax and de-stress. By taking care of themselves, individuals are more likely to stay motivated and achieve their long-term health goals. Please like and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.